Namaskara, you're watching TV Vikrama National. I am Jessel D'Souza. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon. Welcome to Vikrama Special. Let me tell you what exactly happened at the Godra train station on 27th February 2002. The Sabarmati Express was carrying Hindu Karasevakas right from Ayodhya, where they had gone to express their vigorous support for building a Ram temple at the legally and politically disputed site. At the Godra train station, an altercation took place between the Hindu Karasevakas and Muslim boys who were serving tea. The train began to move after its scheduled stop at the station and the emergency cord was pulled. As a result, the train stopped in a Muslim neighborhood where it was attacked by a Muslim mob. Two carriages were burned. As a result of this, the fire killed 58 passengers including many women and children. British Broadcasting Company, that is BBC, recently published a controversial documentary related to our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In this documentary, Modi ji was portrayed as the main culprit of the Godra incident of 2002. BBC also said that Godra incident is the most brutal incident that took place in India. Is Godra the only communal incident that took place in Gujarat? Are the minorities in Gujarat victim of such violence? What lit up Godra violence to spread more to the entire state? Let me explain in detail. The communal riots in Gujarat have 56 years of history. The communal violence took place in the year 1946. Gujarat's capital, Ahmedabad, was the main centre for Muslim League's activities. A controversy during Jagannath Ratha Yatra turned into communal violence and took many lives of Hindus. After this, in the year 1947, India got its independence and Pakistan was separated from India. Ahmedabad became the important industrial city in India. From 1950 to 1960, huge number of Muslims migrated to Ahmedabad city. The story begins now. From 1960 to 1970, Gujarat witnesses the massacre of Hindus. In 16 districts of Gujarat, 685 cases in the urban and 114 cases in the rural were registered related to communal violence. Surprisingly, among all those cases, 578 cases took place in the year 1969 under the Congress rule in Gujarat. Again, in 1969, during Jagannath Ratha Yatra, this violence took place which ended up taking many lives of sadhus. But this time, the fire of violence spread all over the state which ended up taking approximately 1,100 innocent lives. Also, loss of cross together of public properties. Even in 1985 riots, Hindus were burnt alive in Gujarat. Abdul Latif kidnapped many Hindu girls, harassed and raped them, was never taken into custody as he was in the shelter of the Congress party. Are all these facts enough to make a documentary? Will BBC or any other international media attempt to publish documentary related to these incidents or those historians who lied to the young generation through their books, will they rewrite this? In the name of secularism, Congress suppressed all the Hindu rights in the nation. To please minorities, Congress indirectly provoked the killing of Hindus. Abdul Latif was encountered only after the arrival of BJP rule in Gujarat. Until then, he kept on doing all the anti-social activities under Congress. Let justice prevail. TV Vikrama National, Bharat Bhagya Vidata. Subscribe TV Vikrama National and don't forget to click bell icon button and select all notifications.